Hi, this is Kelly from Essex Ham and welcome to Foundation Online, getting you started with amateur radio. This is Pete from Ham Train with some supplemental information for our Foundation Online course about the 2021 EMF license changes. At the time of recording, what's covered in this video is not a part of the Foundation exam, but it may be added soon. It's also an important update to the amateur radio license, so something that Foundation license holders need to be aware of and comply with. So what's going on? In 2021, Ofcom made some changes to the amateur radio license to cover EMF, electromagnetic fields. The aim is to ensure that your amateur radio antennas don't radiate signals above the recognized international safety limits. This is to protect the general public. The change also affects mobile phone masts, broadcast TV and radio stations, and other companies using radio signals. To comply with the new rules, what you're required to do is calculate the field strength of signals from each of your antennas. In practice, this is actually quite straightforward. Ofcom has released a calculator, and the RSGB has released a more amateur radio friendly version of the calculator. What you need to do is type in a few bits of information and the calculator gives you the safe distance. Provided the public aren't inside that zone when you're transmitting, then there's no problem. At Foundation, you're limited to 10 watts and the new ruling only affects transmissions over 6.1 watts ERP. But there are several factors that mean at Foundation you're not likely to exceed that limit. For a start, the calculations are done over a period of six minutes. Assuming you're only transmitting for half of that time and spending the other three minutes listening, then the exposure drops quite considerably. Some modes such as SSB use less power and there's also loss in the coax feeder between your transmitter and the antenna. Let's have a look at an example using the RSGB's EMF calculator, which is currently in the form of an Excel spreadsheet. Here I'm going to use the collinear antenna on my roof on two meters. Using the calculator, I select the two meter band. I also change to voice FM and my power from the rig as 10 watts. I'm going to assume I transmit half the time and listen half the time. So my transmit time in six minutes is 50%. The type of cable I'm using is RG213. And I have a 10 meter run of cable between my transmitter and the antenna. I select my antenna type as a collinear and the calculations are done for me. You can see here I have Ofcom's compliance distance as 1.3 meters as the difference from the antenna to the top of a human. And of course, if the antenna's on the roof, there's no real chance of a member of the general public wandering within 1.3 meters of my antenna. The new Ofcom guidelines require amateurs to run the calculations and if there's a chance of the public being inside the zone to make appropriate changes, such as raising the antenna height or reducing the power. What you are required to do is keep a copy of your calculations, just in case Ofcom ever asked to see them. For amateurs using over 110 megahertz, the calculations and any modifications have to be completed by the 18th of November, 2021. Frequencies between 10 meg and 100 meg, the date is the 18th of May 2022. And below 10 megahertz, the compliance date is the 18th of November 2022. The whole situation with the license changes for EMF is quite controversial, but it is mandatory and part of the new license conditions, so therefore something that all radio amateurs need to be aware of and comply with. Again, at the time of recording, July 2021, this is not part of the exam, but may be soon. Hopefully that gives you a brief overview of the new EMF changes. For the latest information and the RSGB's EMF calculator, go to rsgb.org.uk forward slash EMF. This feature was brought to you by Essex Ham.